I grew up in the 60s and 70s, and the books I was given to read as a girl in school, the heroes were boys. The girls got to stand around in the background and cheer for them or bake cookies or something. There were very few female heroes, and as near as I could tell, there was no reason why there should not be female heroes, and that went double when I found fantasy. There were three female heroes that I can remember. Eowyn in The Lord of the Rings, who gave up being a sword slinger to become a wife, mother, and healer. And I thought that was fine, except why did she give up being able to fight for it all? Why couldn't she do it all? There was jir of Joyry by C.L. Moore, who once asked her men-at-arms why they cowered in the corner like so many women. To me, that was dead wrong. We do not diss our own sex. And there was Robert Howard's Red Sonia, or no, before Red Sonia, he had a hero named Baylet. She was a vicious pirate queen, and the terror of her whole seacoast. When I found her, she was dancing her love dance for Conan, naked except for her favorite ruby necklace. And not only did her crew not attack her, but they kept taking her commands, which I knew was garbage. That would never happen in real life. It was ridiculous. Eventually, Anne McCaffrey came along, and then Barbara Handley and Elizabeth Moon and writers like them. But until they came along, I wrote what I wanted to read, which was sensible, intelligent, girl sword fighters. And even though more and more female heroes came along, there still weren't enough of them for me, and they weren't of different types. I began to expand my definition of what made a woman heroic. To me, all kinds of women have all kinds of courage and all kinds of sense, and I wanted to show that. I wanted teenagers like I was to feel like they were people. I write books with girl heroes and woman heroes because as far as I can tell, we can do anything we set our minds to.